we already know that the pandemic hit um, our communities of color harder. Uh, and now whether it's because of access, hesitancy, or a combination, um, it seems to be a real problem that we're trying to address. Uh, Dr. Ivy Brown, start with you. Um, tell us what is behind the disparity and how we're engaging uh, the various communities. Well, first, thank you for asking that question because it's an issue. And if we don't have that um, dialogue about it, then we really don't come up with solutions to solve it. Right. Um, it's multiple factors that really play into like why there's such a big health disparity. Um, there's not a one size fits all. I think the first way that I'll tackle that is just kind of addressing the elephant in the room in terms of mistrust in the medical community. Uh, the Tuskegee experiment is not something that happened hundreds of years ago. Right. Um, that was within many of our patients' lifetime. And um, that knowledge of it, that psychological trauma um, runs deep. And that does, and that has been passed on to subsequent generations, uh, and um, understandably so. The other thing that really is pervasive in terms of medical mistrust is in the U.S., we do live in a racist society. Um, we are dealing with that, um, and the medical community isn't insulated from that. There's multiple studies, multiple cases that discuss specifically about medical bias and how that may relate to delay in diagnosis and delay in treatment. So it's a really uphill battle to climb to really gain the trust of black and brown communities. Uh, the other aspect of what may be contributing to the health disparity is access. Um, many black and brown communities are essential workers. And so uh, gaining access to a vaccine during normal business hours is just not feasible for everybody. There's also the concerns that are present with transportation, with access to technology, as well as language barriers. All of these different pieces add up to creating this huge healthcare divide that we really need to purposefully look at and tackle to make sure that we are reaching out to those communities uh, in a meaningful way.